Sjogren's syndrome is a common chronic uh, autoimmune disease characterized by the involvement of the exocrine gland, namely the salivary uh, as well as the lacrimal glands, which result in their functional impairment and the development of uh, ocular and oral dryness, or what we refer to as Sika syndrome. It is also characterized by the development of different or wide variety of different clinical manifestation that could be associated with increased risk of morbidity and mortality. The etiology of Sjogren's syndrome is, like with most our, uh, other autoimmune diseases, is largely unknown. However, it is thought to be an interplay between different genetic, environmental, as well as hormonal factors. This would lead to the initiation and perpetuation of aberrant immune response and eventually the subsequent development of autoimmunity. The cardinal features of the syndrome is largely, the, as I mentioned before, the development of Sika syndrome, but also large proportion of patients do also develop chronic fatigue as well as widespread musculoskeletal pain. In a subset of patients with Sjogren's syndrome, approximately 30 to 40 percent, uh, patients may develop systemic extraglandular manifestations. An example of that is interstitial lung disease and polyneuropathy. Those patients may have more severe disease, require more intensive therapy, and show an increased risk of mortality. The diagnosis of Sjogren's syndrome is largely clinical, and what that means is clinicians usually utilize a combination of a history, a physical examination, different laboratory markers, as well as other diagnostic uh, procedure in making a diagnosis. However, frequently the diagnosis could be challenging to make. Reason being, many patients do present with nonspecific symptoms. As I mentioned before, fatigue and dryness are quite nonspecific. A classic example of that is that the most common reason why people become dry is medication. So as you can see, the disease often presents in a nonspecific way. In fact, studies have shown that it almost takes six to seven years between the first symptom that the patient reports and the ultimate diagnosis of Sjogren's syndrome. Sjogren's syndrome is a common yet underdiagnosed disease. There has been a lot of progress in the research of this illness, and there is no doubt that in the pipeline there will be many medications that will be approved for the management of this disease. <laughs>